Hey guys, welcome back to another watch review. Uh, this time I'm gonna talk with you a little bit today about the Ventus North Star. Um, Ventus is a, basically a sister brand of the Zelos brand. Uh, I believe they were founded around 2014, 2015. Uh, kind of followed the same kind of principle, uh, Kickstarter campaign uh, set up. But of course, because a lot of us know Zelos uh, watches and we know the quality, um, and the design flair and all the different things that go into those watches. Uh, I was really excited to see what Ventus would be. It's generally speaking, probably a, a slightly lower price point than the Zelos watches. Um, but given the fact that it's a sister company, I assume a lot of the quality, or I assumed a lot of the quality would carry through. I say assumed because this is actually my third North Star that I've owned. And this is one that is actually in my keeper box at the moment. So. Without further ado, uh, let's get stuck in. Quick wrist check today. Wearing the Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro, one of my latest favorites. Um, just a great watch, but uh, this is all about the Ventus. So let's get started. So uh, this is the kit that the Ventus comes in. You can see there, there's the Ventus logo, the icon, um, just there, that kind of V shape. And um, comes in this uh, cardboard, kind of high quality, you know, sort of almost like a wallpaper effect um, box. Very nice. It flips open at the front here, opens up, and then you've got this little uh, leather watch roll pouch in here. Warranty card, a um, bit more info there. And then we close that over, move it over. Um, so yeah, the pouch itself, very lovely, soft touch um, I don't know if it's real leather or um, or synthetic, but uh, beautiful feel to it. Very similar to the Zelos um, pouches that we get and, and we all love. Um, opens here and then slightly smaller, of course. The Zelos has like a three band uh, area with the, uh, the other bands and the warranty card in there. Um, you'll see there that we have this uh, debossed or embossed uh, Ventus V right there. Comes with two straps. We have this uh, silicone with the Ventus stamp there on the clasp. Um, quite nice soft sort of silicone, especially the inside actually. That's nice, nice and comfortable I would assume, breathable. Um, very, very nice. Soft, not really my, I don't really like silicone bands, that's just me. Uh, but of course, if you're, you know, an authentic diver, um, this is going to be more of the, the kind of feel and look but th that's actually quite soft and nice um i like that one and the fact that the clasp is stamped is nice as well um so just to give you a bit of, of a background before i unveil the main piece here and um, the ventus north north star this particular one is the azure teal and um, these watches have been designed as like a throwback to the divers of the 60s um and i'll talk a little bit about the specifications in a second lovely soft in interior kind of like felt there as well um so this as I said earlier, this is actually my keeper um, in the Ventus range. I got this one and a brass one in, which is, these are one of the, some of the new ranges that came out uh, just a couple of months ago. Um, and love them both. I'll pop up the brass on screen. You can see uh, the look, glossy, beautiful, um, the kind of goldy brassy color just isn't really my style. Um, so I kept this one and uh, you can probably see why. It's absolutely stunning. Got this beautiful stainless steel bezel insert, uh, or probably solid bezel, I would assume. Yeah, it is. Um, just beautiful finish, really shiny, glossy. Again, this is the Azure teal, so you have that little teal ring on the inside of, uh, or the outside of the dial there. Teal kind of second hand as well, just matches in really well. Uh, MSRP on these is 269, which 
personally speaking, is just exceptional for the quality um, that you're getting in this. Now, this one is a 40 mil case. Again, throwback to the kind of divers of the 60s. I'll do a quick wrist check here. So on the smaller side, uh, we have 40 mil case diameter, 13 mil thick, which you can see there, just pretty much perfect in dimensions. Um, 45 mil lug to lug. So again, a bit more compact here. Perfect for a wrist like mine, you know, kind of six and a bit inch wrist. It just kind of hugs the wrist in a really nice way. On most of the models, you have a ceramic insert for the bezel. This, of course, is a stainless steel. Um, and I, I love both looks. If you see the, the brass one I had in with the ceramic insert, it's so shiny, so stunning. The, the uh, bezel kind of angles up quite a bit. Um, which I'll show you now, just a bit more of the detail of the case and the bezel and so on. So if we look from the side, you see there, it just kind of angles up quite steeply, but I think that quite enhances the sheen of the bezel and it's especially prevalent in the uh, ceramic bezel insert. You really see that gloss and all the reflections come off it. Really beautiful. Uh, on this one, we have 300 meter water resistance stated on the the dial there, we've got day date, this is the NH35 uh, movement. We've got C3 Loom, uh, Super Luminova, so I'll show you the, the Loom shot of that now. Um, we also have a double dome sapphire, perfectly designed, just kind of reaches up when the bezel rises up and then curves in. You've just got that sweep of the, the double dome sapphire, really, really nice. Of course, NH35, we've got the 21.6 beats per hour movement. Perfectly smooth here, and I think it's enhanced um, by the, the thinness of the second hand. It really kind of, you know, it's not a, a high beat movement, um, but you it feels nice and smooth because of the thinness of the second hand. Also then we have this Horween Distressed Leather, which is beautifully soft. Um, you can see there, the Horween Leather USA stamped into it. Uh, easy release clasp there, or, uh, push pins, which is brilliant. Very, very simple. Um, case back then, before I get into my favorite parts of the watch, we'll just look at the uh, case back. Sapphire crystal, like I said, double domed. Ventus North Star, we have the diver uh, helmet here. This particular one, like most of the Zelo Sands uh, Ventus brands numbered, so 48 out of 150. It's always a nice touch. Also, you have that Ventus V there on the other side of the band. And I'm a big fan of the, the stitching, so that's, that's really nice to have that on the Horween. Um, so back to the, the watch, the aesthetic itself, because this is actually my favorite part of this watch, is the side profile and the way the lugs have been designed, the sweeping kind of curves there. You see the way you've got the polished edge here on the lug versus the brushed and then the brushed on the top of the lug. But it just creates this lovely, smooth curve, very reminiscent of the Horizons GMT I had in a couple of months ago. And uh, I'll pop up a link to that review on this video as well. Um, but very similar to the Horizons, kind of similar to the, the Zelos Mako um, form factor. Um, but this, these uh, Ventus watches have their own little personality, I have to say. Um, so you have the V, v stamp on the crown there, crown at the four o'clock. Um, just a lovely, well-designed, well-thought-out design, which is kind of what you would expect. But all the Ventus that I've had in, I've had uh, four in over the last four or five months. Uh, and like I say, this this went into the keeper box and I'm, I'm really happy to have this one. I just think the combination of the stainless steel with the teal, the dial design is beautiful. It's got a lovely kind of sun ray dial there, if you can see it, kind of gray sun ray, really rich kind of gunmetal gray, love it. Um, but it's just such a unique look. Um, and I kind of like the retro size and the retro style. Um, 40 would probably be the, the lower end of what I would normally wear. Um, but it's just such a, a well thought through and well designed piece. Uh, but the, the, basically that's my favorite part of it. Those curves along the edge of uh, the case, I just think are beautifully implemented. And then again, quite a retro sort of lug design up here where it meets the band. Uh, bezel click, you can hear very defined, almost zero back play, really well implemented. Very easy to turn, not, you know, some of the watches I've had in recently have been, 
you know, it's very difficult to actually turn these things. Um, but this has a lovely kind of, you know, sort of shark tooth edge type uh, effect. Very, very easy to grip. Let me see, does it match up? It does match up perfectly. Always a bugbear. If you watch any of the other videos I have, I can't stand watches where the bezel uh, marker, the 12, doesn't match up, but this lines up perfectly. Uh, really well implemented bezel. Really beautiful piece. Uh, like I say, not many pieces get put in my keeper box, but this is one that's uh, that's in there. Uh, I just love the stainless steel. I just think it's gorgeous with that teal blue contrast. The quality of the the case and the brushing there. You see the kind of circular pattern of the brushing across the top and then the horizontal brushing there. And then, of course, those polished sweeping lines there, just slightly thicker here and then thins out um, close to... Uh, the bezel where it meets and then kind of tapers out again. Beautiful. Uh, just get it back on the wrist. So yeah, I mean, for the price, I just don't see how you can go wrong with this particular watch. I do have a kind of a rule, rule of thumb, and it's it's actually based off the Zelos brand, um, believe it or not, because it used to be a lot lower. But my rule of thumb with NH35 movements is that I don't spend more than around 375, uh, 350 to 375 is kind of the max I go on NH35s. And that was actually sort of influenced by the Zelos brand because before that I had a rule which was about 300. And then they started bringing out all those those beautiful watches with um, the the Macos. Uh, that latest that latest Maco is just gorgeous, by the way. Um, it's got the, you've got the Macos, you've got um, the Abyss that was just launched uh, actually last week. Um, and of course the Hammerhead, which is a bit chunky for me, but I know a lot of people love it. Um, but there you go. So uh, that's how the, the Zelos brand and the Ventus brand <laughs> get away with it for me, is just the design is there, the build quality is there. Um, they've actually single-handedly pushed up the boundary uh, of what I will pay for a watch with an NH35 movement. And uh, I just think that they've done such a good job with this uh, particular watch. I think it's perfect for my wrist, um, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, so that's the Ventus North Star in the Azure Teal. Um, make sure you get one, guys. If you get the opportunity, all these watches are just gorgeous, especially look at the shine off that. I love the Horween leather. Just it's, you know, it's my kind of strap. Um, but yeah, make sure you do uh, get one. The value is there. I mean, for 269 even if you pay full retail, it's just a phenomenal value. And uh, you get a lot out of these watches. They just, they look incredible. They're noticeable. They're striking, kind of retro. Um, just great build quality. And uh, a great kit as well, you know, with the, the uh, leather uh, pouch and everything. So... Guys, that's my review of the Ventus North Star in Azure Teal. Uh, make sure you hit that like button for me. I would genuinely appreciate it. And hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, meantime, guys, hope you're keeping well. I'll see you in the next one.